Thank you all for being here. The purpose of tonight's news conference is uh, to address Toledo police officers, the public, and the media regarding this evening's events. Uh, Chief Crawl and Mayor Kapsikiewicz will be speaking. We re respectfully ask that there are no questions. Um, this is, we are still very early in, in the process of this investigation, uh, and, and we're simply gonna give you all that we have right now. There will be an additional news conference um, to be held on Wednesday. The time is yet to be determined. However, the location will be at one government center on the 22nd floor. We'll send that availability out as soon as it's ready. Chief Kral. Uh Thank you. Um, very sad day for the city of Toledo and specifically the Toledo Police Department. At 2234 Fulton Street at approximately 3.53 p.m., Officers from the gang task force noticed a suspect standing at this location out having a cigarette. Um, he was known to them because this is a suspect who vandalized the cathedral early this morning. Um, we had arrest warrants out for him. They approached the suspect and there's a little transactions back and forth and he went around the corner and uh, brandished a firearm, uh, firearm and went into the home. Uh, at that stage, we do as we always do, we, we set up a perimeter and um, called for negotiators and our SWAT team, which is normal co course of action whenever there is a barricaded suspect. Um, negotiators were there and tried to negotiate for hours. Um, it was not successful. Our SWAT team initiated gas, and this is at the time where um, the suspect came out of the house with two firearms and started shooting. Um, I'm sad to say that Officer Brandon Stalker was struck once and has passed away. Um, Officer Stalker is a 24-year-old white male who was hired on the Toledo Police Department in July of 2018, and he was an amazing police officer. He has a fiance and they have a very young child. Um, it's important to know Officer Stalker was not on the SWAT team. He was not a tactical officer. He was doing, he was doing perimeter security when he was struck. Um, so we're not going to answer any questions here and I don't, I'm not giving you a lot of information because simply this happened four hours ago. We'll have more information uh, then, all I ask is to respect the privacy of the family who are grieving, uh, the Toledo Police Department, and let us, uh, let us do our jobs, and uh, we'll get more information out to you subsequently. Um, before I pass it over to the mayor, I, I would be remiss if I did not speak on the staff and the ER staff and the doctors at Mercy St. Vincent's. Incredible. Um, I was here shortly after Brandon got here and I watched and the level of care was simply unmatched and I, I personally thank you gentlemen and your staff. Um, I know it's not a lot of information and I know you have a lot of questions and we will, we will get you those answers. I think you know I'm pretty, uh, I'm pretty adamant about getting that word out as quickly as possible. So, Mayor. This is a very uh, dark uh, and horrific day for the city of Toledo. Um, and it comes at a time when the Toledo Police Department uh, has had to endure uh, too many uh, dark and terrible days in the last six months. Certainly, um, today we're all reminded uh, of Officer Dia and how he was also killed in the line of duty on the July 4th last year. Um, but we also remember Officer Kevin Dumas, who, while not killed in the line of duty, uh, died unexpectedly um, uh, just a few weeks ago. 
and for an organization like the Toledo Police Department that truly is a family, uh, this has been a very difficult time. Um, it is a very difficult day for the city. Uh, the events that took place today um, challenge uh, all of us in how best we should respond to the sadness that we feel in our hearts. The sadness that the Toledo Police family feels and the family of Officer Stalker's family feels and, um, and everyone in the community who mourns tonight. Uh, it is a dark, dark day in our city and a dark time in our community. It um, did not um, escape my notice that um, this terrible event took place on Martin Luther King Jr. Day, uh, which is a day of reflection and thought, a day of um, a day where questions of justice are asked and answered. And I might simply say, um, for those who would react to what happened today um, with feelings of hatred uh, and a desire to uh, take our community into an even darker place, I might simply um, say, uh, you know, that Dr. King said that um, you know, darkness cannot drive out darkness, only light can do that, and hate cannot drive out hate, only love can do that. Um, so I, I call on all Toledoans tonight to say a prayer for their city and to challenge themselves to respond to today's horrible events. Um, with thoughts of love and light. And perhaps each in our own way, we can uh, drive out the darkness that we feel in our hearts right now and uh, provide a, a brighter path for our police department, our community, our neighborhoods, and everyone uh, who is suffering tonight. So. Um, Thank you. I, I, is that, uh, okay. Okay, yeah, those are, those are my, I didn't know if that was Dr. Cooper. Thank you. Again, thank you all for being here. Uh, as I said, uh, to start, we will have an additional news conference on Wednesday. Time to be determined. Um, the location will be one government center on the 22nd floor, and we'll get that information out to everybody as soon as we have it. Thank you so much.